I am getting myself dressed. I'm cleaning my face right now because I have a event today. I might get a chance to, to video a little bit of the footage, but I'm not sure. But um, what's going on up under here, I filmed the video on me washing my hair and everything, and you'll get a chance to see this video of what I actually did to it. I tried two different hairstyles, and uh, we don't know which one actually worked. But hopefully today, this one will pull itself off. Um, I will um, try again, like I said, I'll try to video some of this, the footage from the show. And um, yeah, I'm running late, so um, the show starts at 9.30 and it's like 8 o'clock now. So I'm trying to get myself down there early, black people. I'm going on my time now, not color people's time. But either way, I'll see you. Income properties to get two free tickets. I'm gonna get a chance to talk about my um, fitness business. So I will see you guys when I get inside. I'll get a chance to show you guys my outfit once I actually take my jacket off and I get out of the car. But um, I am waiting. <laughs> I mean, for once, I am on time and they are not on time. <laughs> but I'm, I was laughing at that because I am usually the one that's late. So tell us, tell my listening audience, what do you do? Who are you? What, like, what do you? Uh, what's your passion and what's your what's your business? Okay, um, as you all know, I am Tawana. Um, everyone calls me Tink. Mm -hmm. My business is Knit Fitness, mm -hmm. and what I do is a strength training program, which allows you to lose weight, gain muscle as well as live a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, the name itself, KNIT, is what I actually do. It's an acronym for what I actually do. Okay. It's Kinetic Nutrition Interval Training. And that means that we do a lot of high and low intensity training, mm -hmm. but I get you to that next level. Okay. Usually when most people come to me, they've already done the aerobics, the walking and everything else. So my goal is to get you to that next level. So, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so yeah, okay, and so um, I was what one of your first clients? Yes, she was one of my first so I clients. I supported her too. As a part of my business, I didn't start it. I know a lot of people believe that I started my business, um, I guess, based on a vanity level. Mm -hmm. They thought that it was about physical appearance, but it was not. I started my business based upon um, everyone else around me was unhealthy. They were having high cholesterol problems, high blood pressure. So I would gather all of us together to do little fitness training and programs. Um, if you go back into the history of my um, Facebook page, you'll know that I used to also offer free Pro Bono fitness classes right at Legion Field, and I would invite everybody that, everybody down to come and participate, mm -hmm. whether you wanted to or not, but you know, I thought there would be something just a little bit more encouraging to get us all healthy and fit mm -hmm. if we all did it together. Everybody needs a fitness friend, and I wanted to be that accountability partner for all of my fitness friends. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the whole purpose of me starting Knit Fitness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you started because you you observed this your your friends and you observed the different probably I guess complaints or different things. Yeah, they were, they everybody were, was having different problems, problems and they were bringing them to me and I was like, what can I do to fix help it. motivate them? Not so much as fix it, but kind of motivate them to want to fix or change their problem. Okay, to change it, to yeah. alter it, to motivate them. That's yeah. a key word, to motivate them. That's yeah. good. And so when okay, so looking back on your just you know, you've always been the small, beautiful, um, fit-looking person that I've 
you know, and you, you like you said, fit looking. Okay, fit looking. Okay, yeah, so it look looked fit. fit, but it wasn't fit. It wasn't fit. No. Okay. I was, I was just um small size. I was smaller size than a lot of other people, but that didn't mean I was healthier. I wasn't in any better shape than anyone else. So the reward of me helping other people allowed me to build my body as well. So I would use myself as an example because no one ever realized that I had any problems with my own physical fitness. So okay. as I was working with everyone else, I decided, Bella, well, why don't I just go ahead and certify myself just to make sure that I can give everyone the proper information. Mm -hmm. So as a person, I wanted to inspire you with all of the um, foods. I do meal plans. I do nutritional information. I work with you with supplements. I try to help you fix your problem, but as well, I am being rewarded with it. It really inspires me when I'm inspiring you. Right, okay. So you just basically uh, decided to become healthy yourself. Yes. And because you decided to become healthy, you observed the people around you and you just kind of created a core group yes. where you guys would kind of work out and get healthy and get fit. Because like I said, you've been attractive all your life. You know what I'm saying? So to me, you know, you know, so you, I mean, with you being attractive, it's like, you, you don't need to be fixed. Like, what need to be fixed on you? That's what I'm thinking. So when you started working out, I'm like, what's she working out for? She's she been the same size for <laughs> years. So you're saying that- and it I haven't been the same size, but I think, I guess visually when you're looking at it, you thought I was probably about the same size. Yes, that's what it, that's what it looked like. So, so have you ever had any weight problems or any issues that you, had that you want to share with the audience that can kind of help motivate them if they're feeling like yes like I like I feel about you I feel like you've just been small all your life and you know you're, you're straight yeah. but it wasn't until um yes I myself had gained a lot of weight I didn't notice it because like she said she was seeing me as an attractive and so you know people are giving you that compliment mm -hmm. it's more of a oh like hey girl you looking good and I'm like I'm riding into it like oh yeah I'm looking good and I realize I'm not as in shape as I thought I was Wow. But, um, and I, I didn't realize it until I started helping other people. So as my body started to transform and change, I realized like, wow, this is something. This really is something I can really show other people how to do. And that's when I designed all of my programs in that manner to really just change your body. You don't have to become a whole nother person. You can just become a better you. And it really wow. just takes your body and it just forms it. And that's what my program is. It's an interval training that really teaches you how to use your own physical body strength. It's okay. not about, you know, like looking like a, a man. As most people say, oh, you're lifting weights. You're going to look like a man. No, you're not. You're just going to look like a better, shapely female woman. It's going to define your form. It's not going to change you into a, a whole other um, gender. <laughs> it just makes you better as a female. Once you start to eat better, um, physically do things different, mm -hmm. it really does. It changes your whole physical appearance. Okay. And that's the thing. So you, like you say, you've always saw me as smaller. But, as small. Yeah. yeah, but in the reality, you were smaller than me. I was. You were smaller than me. <laughs> or, yeah, exactly. So you didn't even notice that, well, maybe it's just that you saw me one way, but the reality was I was not bad. Wow. Because I wasn't as healthy. You wasn't as healthy. I was not. And so, so uh, part of your health plan is uh, um, intense, uh, is it intense physical training? It's as high well as, and low. Okay. It's low intensity and it's high intensity. But so do you do both at the I same do time? I both at the same time, which is what the kinetics of it is. It's about making power moves, but it's how you make them. Um, you have to make them with precision. Everyone knows that when I'm training you, um, I was different when I first started training you mm -hmm. because it was a lot of just um, cardio. It was. You did a lot of cardio and things like that. But mm -hmm. once I actually started to um, educate myself on what was necessary for us to actually make a difference with the body, I learned the kinetics and the plyometric movements that I needed to teach you all how to get your body to change. Okay. And that's exactly what it is. It's, we're using both high and low at the same time, which is why I use weights. There's not one client that does not leave me without knowing how to use your weights, what they're used for, what every position and every movement that we make is designed to do. So, okay. so you're considered a personal trainer. Yes. People can I hire you. Personal not trainer as well as a group and um, corporate trainer. A corporate trainer. Okay. Yes. And so you can. Uh, so, um, so, so if I have a living listening audience, a watching audience that's probably like a size 400, and they want to get down to 200. Um, what would be some of the recommendations or some things you would do if, if they were not able to come to you yet or not financially, you know, or whatever, or physically, you know, just what? Well, I, what? Do, I do travel. 
I do travel as well. My um, personal thing is about convenience. I will convenience your lifestyle, and I will design a program that is around that lifestyle. I will come to you. I will set up your meal plans and your programs just for you. Everyone doesn't do the same thing because you, everyone is different. So our bodies are different, so I have to work with you in that manner. I will set up your meal plans. Um, we have grocery lists. I do meal prep as well. I will help you understand how and when we will be able to um, do your program, like how your days to accommodate your lifestyle. So you create you, a schedule. For I create a schedule that suits your lifestyle. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So um, for the people that uh, are that's going to hire you in the future or that's listening now or maybe just out of state or out of the city cannot reach you, um, what would be one of your highest recommendations that people can do to get started? Because this is, and I purposely planned you to be here before this month end because everybody are making, uh, not rituals, but they're making um, goals. Resolutions. Resolutions. That New Year's resolution. resolutions. Mm -hmm. And so I want to reiterate because those are few uh, people that have probably fallen off of their resolution or have gotten away from it or um, you know have deviated some sort I want to motivate them to get back on track or something you can probably encourage them to do if they are falling short or discouraged or whatever okay. well I, I do monthly um, fit challenges so mm -hmm. I do have a February fit challenge that will be coming up mm -hmm. I won't release it until um, February the 4th okay so once I every month I have a new program for you that's designed to help you move to the next level whether it's seasonal you know, we've got spring coming up, so I'm always trying to get you to that next plan. But you are able to contact me mm -hmm. um, through emails. I have a website. I do a blog. I'm always releasing all the information that's being offered at that time. I do all of my challenges. And if you follow my pages, um, Instagram, Facebook, um, I have a YouTube channel. I do all of those to actually, if you guys can't come to me, I make fitness videos and I will do online stuff. I have online programs that are coming. But right now, what I do is I make my videos, and I try to give you videos to actually just to follow. I try to give instructions on those videos the best way that I can. Mm -hmm. um, I release a lot of my menus, videos uh, for what I cook to do, nutritional plans for you and everything else. So I'm hoping that we all can connect a little bit more on mm -hmm. that. Um, if you all follow the pages and everything else, follow the blogs. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep as much information out there so that you will always know that I always have a new fitness challenge every month. So every 30 days, I change the program. You change the program. Yeah. So you reinvent yourself. Yeah. And so, and On a out, regular basis. Yeah. And getting out information. And so, and then the meal preps. I've watched a couple of the videos and stuff like that. Um, that before we got together this morning. So I watched some videos. I, I've been watching you for a long time. I have watched you blossom. Um, with it, It's been two years, right? Uh, well, it's been actually five years since the program started. It's been, yeah. Yeah. It's been that long. <laughs> I'm off with the time. Yes, you are so off with I'm time. So, but yes, I'm, I'm, I'm off with time. It's been okay. five years. Oh my God. So five, five years. years. So we don't want to make sure, we want to make sure y'all understand she's been educating herself. She has credentials and all the things yes. that's necessary mm -hmm. to educate you and to help you to get fit, more knit fit. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I they like stay the, knit fit. Yes. I like the whole knit fit. I yes. even like your, your name, the name of your business. Now, what else are you doing that you want to um, share with the listening audience? What else? Is there anything else outside of what you got coming up in February? February and are you, uh, anything else you want them to help and encourage you on as a, as a black business owner? Um, well, yes, I do. I sell my meal plans as well. Yeah. Um, I have meal plans. I have smoothie recipes. I also have um, grocery lists and things like that for you. I have calendars that actually help you throughout the month. Like I say, if you can't get to me, I give things that you can actually have for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you can actually kind of...